Ah, it's time to start building a Roblox studio. Uh, I'm going to make a part uh, in a scale. Well, I don't know, like... Yeah, well, I'm going to build... A, I'm, I'm such a good builder. Like, I'm going to build a room now. Damn. Whoa. Uh, hey, I'm wait, what, a, bro? What, what, what are you doing, bro? Well, let me use my magic wand. What the no, hell? You can't be doing this. Oh, you you don't cool. even have any plugins. That's so crazy. Bro, dude, no. Yeah. Don't do this. Bro, don't uh, do this no. No. Yeah. no. Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. So, today I'll be talking about the top 5 plugins, which are free, which you can use for Roblox Studio, which will drastically increase your performance and make you a much better developer. And these plugins are good for beginners and for advanced people, because even I use these plugins. Alright, and guys, without further ado, let's start with the top 5 plugins that you need as a Roblox Studio developer. Alright guys, so the first plugin that we're going to be talking about is one that is good for UI and this one is called Auto Scale. There's a light version and there's a premium version and I only have the light version because it's free. So as you can see here guys, this is my Auto Scale light. And what this can do is if we add in a UI and we add in a frame for example and we scale, it will just move and it won't resize the UI. And over here, if we click on add constraint and then unit conversion, we got a unit conversion. And here we click on scale and scale then once we move it will resize with our window and this is good for mobile compatibility where the gui will be good for mobile so let's say if we have a title like or something here and we do it it will also resize and add constraint will just keep it the same shape and if we wanted to stretch out or or yeah if we wanted to stretch out then we could remove the add constraint because it adds this here a ua ui aspect ratio constraint which keeps it the same shape so that's pretty much it it seems like a very simple plugin but it's actually very useful but now that we're done with this plugin let's move on to the second plugin which is brush tool and this and this plugin is personally one of my favorites over here we can see the brush tool and like i said all the plugins will be in the description here i'll click on my brush tool and we're met with this ui uh it already has two items which is the grass and tree but we can add a lot more objects for example i can just get this car for example and just click on add and that's it we have our car here but yeah what i do is i select the tree and the radius is going to uh, determine how many objects it's going to place at once so i'm just gonna if i put it to the lowest it's going to place one but i'm just going to put it to 10 and the spacing is how far the objects are going to be from each other uh and i'm going to put that to like one oh, this is stuck this is stuck help what do i do ah it's stuck what it's stuck oh my god what 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 bro my brush is stuck my brush is stuck <laughs> anyways guys minor minor technical difficulties now it's back i'm gonna set the radius to 10 and the spacing to like 10 as well and i'm just gonna select the tree for example and we just click on activate brush and like that's it that's pretty much it we can just place a bunch of trees everywhere we want or we can just select the grass and we can place grass everywhere. Or we can select both of them and it will place both grass and trees at the same time, random. And now we can see how this is really useful for when we're building large maps. We don't have to be copy and pasting objects all the time, which is really useful. And I use it quite a lot, to be honest, which is why this is one of my favorite ones. And it's really simple to use, but can make huge changes on your Roblox Studio um, development. But yeah, now, now that we're done with this plugin, let's move on to our third plugin, which is build tools by f3x and this is also a really really good plugin especially if you're a builder and it can do many different things for example let's say we have two parts here and over here if i select the two of them and i want to scale them they're all just going to increase in size and this is really inconvenient but build tools f3 what build tools f3x and can let us do is we can select this here which is a scale and what this can do is if we select both of these parts using build tools f3x and we use the scale tool we can select these two parts and we can scale them at the same time and they will not scale like 
together basically they'll individually scale which is very good for if we want to build like separate things uh which is very good and it can be very convenient for building and the same goes for rotation and many other things and of course we can use this f3x for a lot of things overall this tool is really good for builders and it can really speed up your process of building and for any game developer for any roblox studio developers making a game which is why i'm putting this which is why i'm also putting in the top five plugins for me because it's a plugin that i use a lot when making games so now that we got that done let's move on to our fourth plugin which is 3d text and this plugin may seem like a useless plugin but i actually use it quite a lot and i think it's good to mention because even if it may seem useless i actually used it a lot in games and basically how it works is we select this plugin we click on activate cursor and then we can just add 3d text which we can change i can write subscribe here and then we can just we also have to forget not to click off because if we do it'll stop so like I can write subscribe, make it red. I can change the uh, font to anything I want, the thickness, the scale of it, the tracking, the leading and everything. And basically what it does, it's, it's just creating 3D text, which you can use for titles and things like shops. And it's literally for any... It's literally useful for any type of game that you're making. Okay, so we got that simple plugin over with. So now we're gonna we're gonna move to the last but not least plugin out of the top five plugins. And this one is called Launch Archimedes, which is also a very useful plugin for builders because well, as we can see, if we click on it, that we can make circles and things. So basically I can just select the angle of this circle that it's gonna be. And then we just click on rent and there we go and it creates a circle and we can also use it to make stuff like paths and we can also use it to make like different types of things like let's say we have a road in our game here and then we can just like render out a road and we can turn it that way and basically i can just create a little road like basically what i can do is i just create a little path here and that's it that's how you do it it's pretty simple but it's really useful and it can be used for a lot of different things, which is why I put this plugin. And I also used it quite a lot for my games uh, in making things such as roads or paths. But you guys, that's pretty much it for the top five plugins in Roblox Studio. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe because it really does help out the channel. But guys, if you have any issues or suggestions, make sure to comment it or join my Discord server, which will be linked in the which will be linked in the description. But guys, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.